And so a couple notes as we get started here. First of all, I want to emphasize again that arctangent of x means the same thing as inverse tangent of x. So if you're used to that alternative notation, just realize we're just talking about inverse tangent of x. The second thing I want to notice is that this is a chain rule problem that we're facing. And so let me put a note down to that effect, and then I'll write down the statement of the chain rule for reference here. So the chain rule will say that if we want to differentiate f of g of x, we get f prime of g of x times g prime of x. And so we should identify our outer and inner functions here to get started with the chain rule. The outer structure here is f as a function of u equals arctangent of u. And so f prime of u is 1 over u squared plus 1. Our inner function is g of x equals x to the seventh, and so g prime of x is 7x to the sixth. And now we're all set to actually work on differentiating this function. So we wish to differentiate arctangent of x to the seventh. And I'm going to pull the results down to the next line so we can see it all on one line. So the outer structure is arctangent of u. Derivative of arctangent of u is 1 over u squared plus 1. But in place of u, we substitute in g of x, which is x to the 7th. And so we get 1 over x to the 7th squared plus 1. Then by the chain rule, we multiply by derivative of g of x. So we multiply by derivative of x to the 7th, which is 7x to the 6th. And let me fix this multiplication sign. And we'll multiply by the 7x to the 6th. And at this point, we're just about done, but we should simplify our result. So we have 7x to the 6th divided by, now x to the 7th squared has the exponents multiply and we get x to the 14th, and then we have a plus 1. And that's our result, but I want to walk back through the chain rule work here. So we had arctangent of, of a function. The derivative was 1 over the inner function squared plus 1 times derivative of the inner function. So we got 1 over x to the 7th squared plus 1. That's the 1 over u squared plus 1 sort of structure times derivative of the x to the seventh, which gave us a factor of 7x to the sixth, and then we put it all together and simplified. And so that completes this example. Let's look at another example.